there's two broad groups that we can divide um, heart problems into. Uh, one is congenital, meaning that you're born with it, and then one is acquired, meaning that you get it during your lifetime. When we talk about lifestyle diseases, that's where we have these patients get heart attacks, and that's usually due to a poor lifestyle mostly. Uh, um, and then things like obesity, smoking, high cholesterol comes into play. And then um, the socioeconomic problems are problems who get patients who get valve diseases from usually rheumatic heart disease, uh, which uh, poor socioeconomic circumstances plays a big role. I think for me, I just I accepted that um, I have a heart condition and I'm not uh, a heart patient. Alejandra is vandag 3,5 jaar oud. Hulle het um, sonar gedoen op Alejandra en besef haar haar kie is nie volledig nie. Even though I lead a healthy lifestyle, I did not think that will happen. But reality sometimes brings you back to what's happening inside of you that you're not aware of. All these diseases and all these things are easily preventable and easily treatable. Hello there. My name is Roche Locke and I'm proud to be part of the Namibia Heart Foundation as one of the directors. My role includes looking after the communications and public relations of the Namibia Heart Foundation. The Namibia Heart Foundation was established to create awareness and to educate Namibians on the reality of cardiovascular disease in our country. With our valued volunteers around the country, the Foundation is there to create a safe and empowered community, giving our volunteers the opportunity to give guidance to those suffering from chronic heart diseases. This difficult path can become a lonely place for sufferers as they deal with the after effects of a heart attack. These include anxiety, anger, disappointment and so much more. Why don't you join the Namibia Heart Foundation by joining hands to create a healthier and happier nation.